Hi, my name is Lorraine Watry and welcome to my studio. I am a watercolor artist and I've worked with watercolor for 26 years now and I thought I would start a new series of videos where I go over different tips, tricks and techniques for working with watercolor and hopefully these short videos will help you in your journey and if you have a question or a technique that you would like to see please comment below and I will try to accommodate that in a future video. This tip is going to go over using the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to help lift color off of your painting. So if you're working with watercolor, a lot of the time you'll hear people say, oh watercolor, it's unforgivable, you can't make adjustments once it's down, it's down. And so I am going to just um, go over this technique because it is a way that you can lift uh, watercolor and even color that is a staining color off of your paper. Now um, just before um, go trying this on your actual paper you should try it on a, a separate piece of paper and make sure that it's not going to tear your paper because this does um, have abrasive quality and it can tear your paper if it is a cheaper paper, a student grade or um, certain um, professional grade papers don't work as well with the Mr. Clean eraser. Uh, I have tried it with Arches watercolor paper and had no problem. This is 140 pound Arches and that's usually what I paint on. The paper that is in a block may have different sizing than sheets of watercolor paper so you should always test that as well because a block of paper um, may act slightly different compared to the sheet of watercolor paper. Okay, to get started, the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, you want to make sure that if you buy this, you buy um, either the original or the extra durable, not the one that has the Dawn soap or the Febreze in it because you don't want to put any chemicals or soaps onto your watercolor paper. And they come in uh, a large um, block that would be about half the size of this box and you can get different size boxes with different amounts and then I usually tear them down into smaller pieces. So I'm going to move that and I have pre-painted a square with uh, Thalo Blue which is a staining color and then this one is cobalt and it is non-staining and then this is cobalt just to show you another technique. So in general when you go to lift color Thalo Blue is going to be a hard color to lift off your paper. So this, excuse me, I have hiccups. This is a flat brush and I can get color to lift and I'm just giving it some pressure and some with some water, but there's still a little bit of the Thalo uh, color on there. And then this is the Cobalt and using my brush and some water that lifts back to the white of the paper where you can still see some of the pigment on the phthalo. So if you're trying the Mr. Clean, I'm just going to grab a couple pieces of tape here. So that you can see how it lifts on both of those at the same time. And then when you're using the Mr. Clean, uh, I think my water is, yeah, so I'm getting my water, uh, or I mean getting the sponge wet in the water, and I am wetting the whole thing and then just wringing it out so that it's wet, but it's not going to drip as I'm holding it and um, cause an issue by dripping on my paper where I don't want it to. And then I'm going to come over here and I am giving it pressure. So that's a first pass and I'll just get rid of a little bit of that color off of there and then come back into it and you can see that I'm getting back to the white of the paper and I actually need to rotate my paper towel to make sure that it's not putting color back down. I tend to use my paper towels a lot and then let them dry so they kind of have color on them sometimes. Usually it's not going to come off because it's dry on the towel. And then that's the uh, lifting for the cobalt. And I'll pull this one just a little bit more. So this is really good if you have an area, you can use masking tape if you need to lift a line back or a certain shape. But 
if you uh, want to lift an area that is a little more of a random shape, and here you can see that this is um, lifted back to the white of the paper and this is still uh, just got color on it. And then if you wanted to say maybe use it to lift clouds in a sky, you can do that and just lift with the Mr. Clean. And this is cobalt down here again so it does lift easier. I could do this with a brush. I wouldn't have to use the Mr. Clean but just wanted you to see that you could um, lift soft, softer edged shapes. You don't have to create a, a hard edged shape when you lift. And then you can also, just like we did up there with the tape, if I wanted to lift a specific shape off of my paper, I could use masking tape and a blade. And I'm just going to create a quick triangle. And I'm trying not to press very hard. You need to make sure your blade is sharp. I actually can't tell if I got, I'm not sure I got all the way through. Um, so if your blade is sharp, that will keep it from um, you pressing too hard. So I want to make sure my blade is sharp. Ah, I'm going to start again because I can't, oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, I'll lift around the triangle instead of lifting the triangle. Um, I, I cut through and I just didn't realize I had. Normally when I use masking tape I have a pencil line down so I can tell where I'm cutting and it's just easier to see what I'm doing. So because I um, cut the triangle out, make sure you give it some pressure if you're placing masking tape over watercolor, watercolor that is already down because that little bit of watercolor can cause surface tension and cause um, liquid or paint to seep under the tape. So I just give it a little bit of extra pressure and then I can lift. And I will just lift this back, kind of clean that up, and then use a towel to dry it. And generally I would wait until this is completely dry, um, but you could blow it dry and because the edges might just be slightly damp so I just don't I have to be careful not to uh, smear it. Come here. There we go. Alright and then I can lift that off and there's the shape. So the Mr. Clean uh, Magic Eraser is a way that you can go back and adjust your painting. Um, so it allows for making some changes. You could uh, pull off an area and then repaint, which I have done recently in a painting. Just be careful that once you have lifted the um, pigment off of your paper, it is um, causing the surface of your paper to be um, kind of roughed up a little bit. And so in order to paint back in this area, it's best to let it dry and sit for a little while so that some of that um, maybe little bit of rough area that you have created um, will settle down before you paint it. And I again would stress to make sure that you check your watercolor paper on a separate piece and make sure that it's going to work on your paper and not tear it. And um, just go to town, give it a chance and see what you think. But I really uh, like the Mr. Clean and have it in my um, tools as a way to adjust a painting if I can't get the regular lifting ways to work. So I hope that was helpful and if you'd like to see more of these videos please like and subscribe and if you have something you would like to see in a future video please comment below and I'll see if I can fit that into uh, future videos. Thanks, have a good day. Bye!